Hello and welcome along to another one of Al's Geek Labs. Today on the Geek Lab, well, I've been a bit stupid. On the left hand side, I got yet, yeah, well, another one of the PC XTs. However, the problem with this XT is it was so banged up the motherboard didn't actually work. So I thought, well, I'll go out and spend my ill-gotten gains on a brand new, to me, PC clone motherboard, which sports a V20 10 MHz XT CPU. So I thought to myself, maybe that's going to run faster than the XT on the right, which is actually a genuine XT, but it has an enhancement card on it, which is a 286 running at 6 MHz. So the question I had posed myself is, is the 10 MHz machine, albeit a Turbo XT, faster than the 6 MHz 286. Now, I say I'm stupid because, honestly, I genuinely did not know the answer. Now, if you want a scientific test, then Al's Geek Lab is not the channel for you. But here, let's just switch these things on and see, well, which one's faster. Remember that the 10 MHz XT clone from around 1987 is on the left-hand side of your picture, and the original XT which is on the right hand side of the picture. So I've connected the uh, monochrome monitor onto the right hand side there on the uh, 6 MHz 286 and this flashing thing here is the CGA monitor which is on the 10 MHz clone box. As you can see the clone box started up pretty quickly, didn't have any issues there and of course on the right hand side the IBM, original IBM BIOS is still spinning through that memory test uh, just got past 640k of RAM there and is then going through the auto exec so obviously quite a different time in terms of startup but there's nothing scientific about that as we both know the PCs you know the startup in the BIOS is a completely different routine from a clone machine to a real IBM but if, I guess if you have to make a winner in this test, this totally unscientific test, then I've got to say that the uh, box on the left hand side, the XT clone, is the one that won here. Now let's scienceify the shit out of this and run Check It on these machines. Kinda at the same time, but that doesn't really make any difference whether I run them at the same time, but it's just, well, cooler that way I suppose. So here, let's have a shot. So first, coming up on the left, it's Check It on the 10 MHz Erzo DTK BIOS machine running with an 8087 Math coprocessor. It's at 10 MHz. On the right hand side, you can see here it has IBM Genuine uh, BIOS as well as an 80287 CPU. So I know, it's getting exciting. So why don't we go in and have a look at the more involved system tests just to see how scientific we can get on the performance of this machine. So just for our um, absolute clarification there, you can see the processor type on the left hand side is the V20 XT machine with 640k of RAM. Interestingly, on the right hand side, it identifies it as an 80286 machine but it says an 80286 XT machine. So it's obviously found some parts of its limitations in there. Okay, now we know what these two machines are. I think it's time for a real speed test. Okay, galloping off on the right hand side then, the main system, the IBM XT 286. It's come up with the first result already. A whopping performance of 1120 dry stones, followed by a coprocessor speed test of 51.7 thousand wet stones. So now the moment of truth to compare those numbers with the clone board on the left side and see what the wet stones and the dry stones are doing. And on this side, you can see that we have 814 dry stones and 267.1 thousand wet stones on the math coprocessor. Now, by my logic, that means that the main CPU, which is the important part in these machines, is slower at 10 megahertz than the 6 megahertz, or reports at around 7 megahertz on the right-hand side here. It's slower on the CPU 
but potentially a little bit faster than the uh, than the 287 CPU. So go figure. So how does that really compare in real life? Well, there's really only one way to find out, and that's by running Leisure Suit Larry. Am I right? Okay, here we go. I just gotta press the return key on both keyboards at the exact same time, and then we're gonna find out which game actually starts at the credits first. I'm in suspenders. I mean, I mean suspense as to which game it's going to be. Is it going to be the 6 megahertz machine on the right hand side with the slower copro or the 10 megahertz? Oh, there we go. Result. Well, thank you, Mr. Laffer. I think you had the last laugh there. <laughs> Well, that's wraps it up for another one of Al's Geek Lab's quickies. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, if you have any comments, questions, or any of all that jazz, then please do not hesitate to drop them in the questions below. Uh, don't forget as well, please subscribe to the channel. I love your subscriptions. It kind of makes this all worthwhile. Uh, don't forget to like and press that notification button whilst you're at it. Well, that's your lot then, so I'll be back about the same time next week, something like that. Until then, be excellent to each other is always the way, and uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Ta-da!